Hey guys, Logo again. Uh, we just seen a video the other day uh, about uh, one of our brothers in the vinyl community. He was showing his Doors records. So I was like, okay guys, you know, let's go ahead and uh, repost mine. It's a pretty good collection. I'm probably missing the Doors 13, but I have everything else. So I'm not kind of like, I have everything. I have greatest hits up to Yang Yang. And I think a few interesting little pieces there. So right now I'm going to show you the videos collection of the doors and hope you guys enjoy it. It was just, I was inspired by that. And the shout out goes to my brother Antonio today. He's being operated on his, uh, one of his heart valves. He had a six tubal bypass five years ago and he was doing great, but he, you know, needed to get that done. He is in the Cleveland Clinic. They actually went from Maryland to Cleveland. One of the best clinics in the world when it comes to heart procedures and all that good stuff. And tell my fellow vinyl community, brothers, friends, peace to all you guys. You guys all know who you are. And thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this video. And here we go. I'm gonna dip then in here and start. Okay. And pardon today, my rambling. It's pretty early here. <laughs> I'm gonna start with uh, the. Of course, a lot of these albums, as you guys know, were released after Jim Morrison passed away. This is American Prayer. I love this poetry readings, you know, by him and the uh, music that the Doors put like eight years later, seven years later after he did it. This one's complete. It's got all the uh, poems, everything. You know, you know what, I, what I'm talking about. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm showing it to you here. I know this video camera definitely need to get a huge upgrade on it and get something better, which I will. So that way I can be in sync when I speak. And I'll show it to you. This one has the... Uh, like I said, all the nice uh, drawings that Morrison did and the poems and, you know, all that good stuff. Far out stuff that the man did. I mean, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, some of the poems I really like, some of them I think are just a little bit maybe LSD induced or something. I mean, when you say a poem, Ode to Your Cop, I mean, pardon my French, but you know, that, that was a little definitely on the wax side, even though he was a great musician, hey, don't get me wrong. This is a promo copy, because it stamps, no big deal, but it's of a greatest hits done in 83, I think it was, The Doors Classics, you know, and of course everything promo because it has that, that stamp thing there, and I uh, hope you guys like it. And of course I do have the two albums that they did with uh, Howard Morrison when he passed away, Ray, John, and Robbie, uh, Full Circle and Another Voices. They're okay albums, you know, to each his own. Don't really think of this as listening to what you consider to be the Doors, which you obviously are with Jim Morrison. But um, still good at music, you know. You know, I, I can do without Ray singing, but that's okay. I know he sang on a couple of songs with the Doors when Morrison was alive. Full Circle is decent. It's a gatefold. I'll open it because I want to show you guys the albums in detail. Pretty cool. I got the little thingy there, there you know, little wheel, spinning wheel. It's got the wheel, so you, you know they put a lot of labor, a lot of the three pictures of them. Also, I wonder what they were thinking in here. I mean, this opens up and it's a lot of stuff. So I mean, they, they, they put a lot of money into it. I like the drum riser. It's got so it, it's. I mean, it's a labor of love, and they did a great job. They wanted to release something for the fans that was worth the money. And the music is all right. And other voices, other voices, I'm sorry, the first album that they released uh, post Morrison's death is okay too. You know, it has a, a song called I'm Horny and I'm Stoned, which I don't know if they just said, okay, let's just release something. It's also a gay fold. And here they remain three members of the doors. And it's, it's funny that, you know, in a way, I think that they actually went on tour with them, Morrison. I mean, Really, guys? Uh, would I go see them without Morrison if I was around that era? Uh, probably not. I mean, you know, nothing against the musicians and shit and all that, but, you know, personally, me calling yourself the Doors, and at least if you would have had somebody who sang, uh, another singer, of course, you can't replace Morrison. But anyway, I know they did that in the, in the 2000s, and I think in the 90s. Still to me, hey, the Doors are Jim Morrison and Robbie Krieger. Raymond Zarek and John Desmore, but, you know, to each his own. 
Um, this is another posthumous release. This is a live album, a live she cried. It's okay, it's decent. Now, the best greatest hits, in my opinion, is the double album, Weird Scene Inside the Gold Mine, that they released a year after Jim's death, and then when they were still touring under the name The Doors. I mean, it's got a lot of the greatest hits, you know, hits if you want to call them, great songs. Like, uh, you know, Light My Fire, Hello, I Love You, Spanish Caravan, The End, Peace Frog. Uh, you know, it's really good. This is really, really good. It's a double album, so, dudes. Now, this is one of the oddities. It's on the Melodium label, Soviet Union label, because it was a Soviet Union. And this was released back in the 80s and um, 88. So it's pretty cool. I have another one with Deep Purple's Greatest Hits, and I have a Paul McCartney one as well. So this is a Doors on Melodia, a Russian one. So that was pretty cool. And now after that, what I'm going to show you is more, of course, more records with them. And I do want you to enjoy. So here we go. Here comes the best of the Doors. This is a quad sounding one. If you have quadraphonic, obviously, you know. Now, whoever has quadraphonic, well, cool for them, you know, that, that you'll be able to hear this in all the quadraphonic glory. Still sounds good, don't get me wrong, you know. The way I feel about these things is that it's, you know, it, if you have a quadraphonic stereo system this day and age, great. I have a few quads. I have a Mike Oldfield tubular bells quad, a meatloaf bat out of hell quad, a few more quads. The Doors, on to the Doors. Okay, LA Woman, as you guys know, this is a regular cover that everybody has seen and probably has. And then, of course, I have the the one, the, the weird one, or the, well, I don't know if you want to call this the one that, um, that uh, people don't have too much nowadays. And it is, here we go, the one with the crucified cover, the plastic laminated cover, there it is which is pretty cool and this one does have the now I'm gonna show you now just I'm trying to change the music but you know whatever doesn't want to do it eh. stupid computers and this one has the uh, crucified cover on it you know it's pretty cool <laughs> pretty cool that's a pretty cool like that times a day it's pretty cool well, it's okay. Well, you know, it's not in the greatest shape, but but you know, it, it is what it is, and it is the uh, the uh, the first press, obviously, of the Doors. Ellie Woman, great album. I mean, you know, Morrison still had his voice, even though you know he was already bloated. But anyway, let's keep moving while we listen to the extended version of Light My Fire. The only 180 gram of the Doors I got sounds really freaking good. Waiting for the sun, but I do want to get a first press of this because, of course, I am an anal retentive collector in some ways. Not, in and of course, a lot of us, like I say, are anal retentive when it comes to our albums. Uh, that's why we're collectors. We love the music, and it is about the music. But I don't think there's a collector on earth who can really say, ah, "I don't care." The album was, yeah, the album was, uh, the record sleeve was crap. Everything was shit. And even the record sound was warped, but I still bought it. I mean, really? I mean, I understand if the cover's not good. I have covers that aren't good, but the record at least is in great, good condition that you can listen to it, you know? I mean, a warped record? Come on, dude. I mean, it could be whatever it is, but if you can't listen to it, you know what the heck? You could say, well, this is the only five copies of this in the world, but the record is, is warped. Really? Dude, at least you can be able to play it and listen to it decently. But anyway, let's continue. Let's me rambling. Okay. This is uh, probably the only official Doors album that they released with Morrison when Morrison was in my right still around, which is absolutely live. Double album. Great album, actually. This thing weighs a ton. These two albums get away a ton. It's a gatefold. And it's a beautiful album. And here, of course, is Morrison with his, you know, his bearded glory. Post Miami, pre Miami. And Ray and Robbie. Ray. Incredible that even Ray Manzarek, my older brother is 71, I think Ray's what, 73, 72? So geez, Ray, you're a little bit older than my brother. That's something that one of my brothers, David, the other one who's uh, getting operated, he's 68. I'm the youngest, yeah, and I'm, and I'm an old codger, but anyway, 
At least I feel those. But hey, you're young at spirit. Okay, copy uh, Strange Date and Stereo first. Press with the nice picture here. And yes, I'll show you the picture. It actually has still the plastic original from when it was bought back in the 60s. Here we go. Love that one, baby. That's a great picture. It's got to be a poster of that. I'm sure there is. I think I've seen it in some of you guys that have it. And yes, it is a lyric sheet. All right. And it's in the cover of Strange Day. Sorry, guys. I'm just going over a little bit of a cold as well. So, you know, usually I'm a little bit more coherent probably than today than this morning. But anyway, yeah, you know, cool beans. Morrison Hotel Stereo First Price. Good album, heavy album. These all, these albums are really good. You can tell they're really well. I do love Maggie McGill for whatever reason. And Peace Father is awesome too. What can I say? Waiting for the Sun, yeah. She's on the album, yeah. Jimbo. The Door Soft Parade, first press in stereo. I should know it. It weighs a lot. This one is on gatefold, huh? Or no? That is a gatefold. I love your gatefolds. This one is a great, great design. Whoever drew this, you know, did a real good job on it. Beautiful. Uh, album itself, yeah, pretty good condition. Love it. Love, love it. these albums are heavy. And now on to the first albums. Two in mono, first press, one in stereo. Guys, get the mono. Get the mono because you can hear Jim go with the, with the, you know, fuck, 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 at the end of the end. You can hear it, but you have to probably say it with headphones on. The doors on in mono. Here it is, guys. This is one of the first questions. It's in really good shape. And of course, I'm moving it like that. And it is the uh, brownish label. Another doors in mono. The cover is shot, but the record is in very good condition. And being mono, I couldn't pass it up. And this is a stereo copy of it. It says gold original. Go label on stereo. And this is an oddity I got. I just wanted to get this one. This is uh, the Door Songbook. It's all instrumentals. It has what? Ten, nine songs. People are strange. Touch me. Really short versions of them. By right, my fire is only two minutes and forty seconds. Produced and arranged by Michael Yoid for the Mike Curb and the Waterfall. The cool thing is the hippie chick on the cover. That looks pretty cool. Co. Okay. okay guys, so you know I ranted and I raved and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys are doing well. Shout out once again to my brother who's going today uh, being operated on. Love you and uh, hope you do great, which you will. And to everybody that is in the VC community too. Sorry I didn't even comb my hair today. I have a cold. I was like, wow, what the heck. Just wanted to post a video. Shout out to Derek, to Rob Benitz. Love you guys. Yep. Hey, let's all say, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. We're all, you know, out there, all of you guys, all the beautiful souls in the VC community. Joe Spencer, Marty, Spillerine, Nathan Morales, Derek, again, I said, all you guys, all you guys, Rob and Eek, all you guys, dude. I mean, it's a great community. We love this little plastic that we have. And you guys seen that recently started to post up some new purchases I've gotten. And I'm taking it very moderate. I honestly don't have space, so that Baker's Rack that you guys know I have is pretty much full up to the freaking brim. That's about it for it, so hope you guys have a beautiful, lovely spring day. I hope you dig listening to one of the greatest bands in, in my book that I love, The Doors. I mean, you know, just listening to this is love and higher, like it's sending me a solo and show. Okay, and um, like I said, I'm going to let the song finish, dude, because... Man, what a song, dude. I mean, come on, man. Do they do it like this nowadays? I doubt it. You were just unique. Morrison, that crazy ass was unique. Everything about it. And then Zarek's run on the keyboard. There's more and Robbie Krieger, dude. Beautiful. All right, guys, love you. Peace. Go, all good vibes.